Welcome to the new A roll. And yeah, so this is going to be our new shot here on the Dark and Cyrus channel. But really, there's so much upgrades that we are doing in this space that I'm really just excited to explore all the opportunities. More to talk about with that. However, this video is not necessarily about me and my ambitions. It's about you and your ambitions and your goals and the things that you want to accomplish. And today we're going to be talking about a member of my community and kind of the dilemma that they went through recently. We're going to look at the messages that kind of went back and forth, as well as show you my analytics of what this really means to be a content creator. We're going to talk about the hours invested, what it means, the struggles that this person had, as well as my results and the moment that I decided to actually quit YouTube. And if I had, I mean, we wouldn't be here in this space, nothing. It would all be gone. So... Let's break it down and let's get into it. But before we do that, let's get in a word from our sponsor. Lightstream is the service that you're going to want if you're a console streamer. Not only are you going to be able to get professional overlays from stream elements, from a bunch of other sites, but you're going to be able to implement so many widgets onto your stream without having to use a PC. Right now, you can actually get Lightstream 25% off for the first three months by using my coupon code Dark and Cyrus. And make sure you use the link in the description. It is golightstream.com slash Dark and Cyrus. It'll uh, support the channel and yeah, I appreciate that. Do like so many people in my community have already done and upgrade your console stream today with Lightstream. So what I've got right here is my laptop. We're actually gonna be looking at this together and we're just gonna go ahead and walk through what some of this is. I'm gonna introduce the person that we're talking about and the, the person is a member of my community who's been there for a while and their name in the community is called The Watcher. And The Watcher has been in my community for a long time now and I feel like he's been a driving force of keeping me consistent as a community member. But He's wanting to be a content creator. And so we jumped into our content creation chat and posed this question. And if you want to go read this entire piece, go right ahead, discord.gg slash the darkness. But he jumps in here and says, okay, so today I'm wondering one thing, and this is where do I begin and where does my business start? I've spent a long time thinking to myself, trying to discover why I want to do what I want to do and why I am doing it the way I am doing it. I'm going to think about this some more and talk through it in a simple voice recording because right now I'm questioning who I am as a creative and who I am as a streamer. Because yes, I'm a creative and yes, I'm a streamer, but I'm still wondering why I am these things. And what is the plan going forward? And where do I look to see where I can stand out without pushing others down in the process? So tell me, how much did that just resonate with you? And the truth is, I think a lot of streamers have hit that point where they're trying to consider, okay, I should stop streaming so much and start making content. Where do I fit in that? Do I make guides? Am I funny? Am I informational? Am I instructive? You know, what do I bring to the table for content to get somebody to be able to, to continue to enjoy my content and be discoverable past when my stream ends? Because that's the truth. Your Twitch stream, you stop being discoverable the moment you hit end stream. So then he drops down and he does this voice recording and we're not going to listen to this voice recording, but I just have to say this is a 20 minute voice recording. That sounds crazy, but I would encourage you if you're someone who's interested in this, I would go listen to this because you're probably going to resonate with a lot of the points he said here. And I did. And this was like, like a few weeks ago, I resonated with it and it even taught me to really look at what I'm doing here on this channel. And so I would encourage you to go look at it. But basically, in very short terms, TLDR, it's who am I? What am I? And where am I? And those are three questions I want you to try to think about. Who am I? What am I? And where am I? And when you start thinking about where you fall in that path, who am I? And what am I? And where am I? What are you? Are you a streamer? Are you a content creator? Are you a hobbyist? Are you an enthusiast? Are you an extremist? Are you just a novelty? What are you in, in, in relation to that? You know, are you a person who creates funny content? Do you teach people things? Do you bring new ideas? Do you innovate? Are you a person who pushes right to the edge? Are you a person who is laid back and chill? Define what is that? And definitely think about how all that ties in to you being a creator. And so this entire thing, uh, he, he says right here, 
Where can I step without cracking good eggs? He goes to, in to say that. Where can I step without cracking good eggs? And I want you to just go ahead and think about it for a second. If you're asking yourself, is this space too saturated? I want to be a content creator. But the thing holding you back is, I think it's too saturated. There's, there's too much in this space for me to fit right here. And I have to tell you, that's so not true. And there's always a place for you. If I can create a channel teaching streaming tutorials, tech reviews, and all that stuff alongside, and most of you, by my analytics, says that you watch people like Senpai Gaming, Gaming Careers, uh, Nutty, you watch all these other, a lot larger channels than I do, but still find my content. If I can do it against some people like Harris Heller, I think you can do it against the people who you consider idols. Because I look up to all of those people. I have a huge respect for them and would love to meet them one day. I don't think it'll ever happen. Who knows? All that being said, this is really informative if you want to read through all of this. And again, it's all in the uh, in the Discord, in the content creation channel. I encourage you to go take a look at it. But the next part is, I'm going to talk about how this made me really back up and think. I got into content creation at this time. I hit a moment where I wanted to quit. And I'll talk to you about those emotions in a moment. What led me to quit? And I'm going to show you the analytics, the money, all of that stuff. I'm going to show you all of that, where I got to the point where this is where I want to quit. I'm not seeing growth. I'm done. I'm completely done. I'm out. I'm going to walk you through that process because it's not a pretty process. So let me take you over to that. All right. So what you're looking at right here is the time period from the beginning of my channel until a year later. This is from July 12, 2019. That's my birthday, by the way, July 12. And that was the day I started this channel. Didn't upload for a few months, but this is the day I started this channel to a year later. And in that time, I was able to get 15,000, almost 16,000 views, almost 1,000 watch hours, and 191 subscribers. I was living the high life. I was like, I'm growing, I've got this, and then all of a sudden, if you take a look at it, somewhere right around March, March 13, March 14, March 15, something happened. A, it was called COVID, because COVID hit, but at this time, my channel just dropped, hard dropped. I wasn't uploading as much, because I was a teacher, and we were trying to figure out how in the world we're supposed to navigate you know, virtual lessons and teaches and teaching and stuff, but I wasn't uploading as much, I was still uploading, but this happened. And so all of this went through, continued through all of this, and it went all the way until June, right about the beginning of June. And I asked myself, summer had started, I was summertime for school, and they said, I asked that question, I've invested a year of time. I'm seeing, at that time it was 170 subscribers, I remember that. I've seen 170 subscribers, nowhere near the views or the watch hours to get, uh, partnership or a YouTube partner to get monetized. This is the time. This is where I, I quit. And if you didn't know about my content, I was making Destiny 2 content. And this content was like, how to do this guide. Let's review this weapon. And it was all gaming content because that was what this channel was based on. Dark and Cyrus was my gamer tag and still is my gamer tag from all of my platforms, Steam, Xbox, all that. But I made this channel to be a gaming channel. And it was about that time we were sitting there in COVID and I said, you know what? So many people are probably trying to figure out how to stream right now and how to do what I'm doing. Let me make this audio tutorial to solve the problem that I just had. So I made the video and it was my very first voice meter video. And then I made a capture card video talking about how to stream your switch and solve that problem for someone. And it sat nothing for like two months. And I had stopped uploading. I did. Until. This is the next few months. This is July 12, the year after. This is 2020. Until November 13th, 2020. This is only a few months. In that amount of time, I went from 190 subscribers to over over 1.3 subscribers, 3K. And I'd already amassed all of my watch time. And I had gotten monetized on this channel. And I had I was basically giving up. I was like streaming on the side, 
making little baby content, still making Destiny content, when all of this blew up, and then all of this just con- con- like continued to push and just continued to go, and I almost missed it. And I almost quit. And the thing I want to tell you there is, as a creative and a creator, when you get to that point and you're like, man, is this worth it? Am I doing what I should be doing? The answer is yes, you're doing what you should be doing. You're creating content, you're pushing through. But you need to ask the question, are you creating the content that's using your strengths and your weaknesses and leaning into your strengths and kind of holding back your weaknesses or growing them? I knew I was a good educator. I've been, I was a teacher for 10 years, taught music. I know music. I know how to educate people. I know how to do that. I used those skills, and all of that audio like stuff that I knew, and threw it into a video, and that grew. And then, from there, the rest literally is history. This is current. This is the lifetime of my channel. 1.5 million views. Almost 11.4k subscribers. Over 11,000 subscribers. And this channel has almost made $6,000 in Google ad revenue since it's, since it's time of being monetized. And I almost gave up on it. And so when I look back and I think about Watcher, and I think about where he was and how he and I got into a party and I talked to him and was like, you got to find your voice, find your niche, find your thing, but you can't do any of that if you don't create. And if you're not creating, none of this is even possible. Now, you might be asking the question, but but how that's great for you. How do I get there? I don't have three years to invest to only make $6,000. I'm ready to go full-time content. Aren't you full-time content at this point, three years invested? You have this massive space, $3,000 PC. I have an entire shelf of PCs over here, and I'm not trying to flex. I'm just like, how did I get here? And all of that knowledge that I learned through being a YouTuber, I pivoted. I left my teaching career in June of this year, and I started a marketing career working for a local real estate company, and I do their social media, their video. I run the Google ads, Facebook ads. I do all that stuff for them that I've learned being a creator. Now, let me preface something. None of my channel under any circumstance has ever been paid for. I've never done any ads but I've worked for companies that have showed me how to do it. My, my, all of my stuff is completely organic. And so I learned how to do it. And I was like, you know what? I got you. And so I, t- I jumped in. And so my skills that I got doing this pushed me into a new career. And from that is it enabled me to continue doing the things that I'm enjoying and have a passion about, which is creating content for you guys. So in the end, what is the lesson that I'm trying to say here? The truth is, creating content is a beautiful thing, and being able to pour my passion into something that I can share with someone is wonderful. Finding these crazy things that just really interest me, cheap webcams, cheap equipment that rivals expensive equipment, and being able to present that to you as a budget option to let you be the creator you want with the lowest investment that you can possibly get, to literally give you the best chance with the smallest investment. I just said the same thing twice, but that's literally what I'm trying to do here, to give you the best experience, whether it be with computers, technology, streaming tutorials, that's my channel, is to help you. And so when it came to now, I'm this far in, I have brand sponsorships. I work for a company. I actually make all of the uh, content for Lightstream. If you want to go check out Lightstream, um, I actually make all their content on their channel now. Uh, you know, it's it's been a it's been a huge journey, and it's only going to be an even bigger journey to come. So, what am I saying to this? I'll tell you the same thing I told Watcher. Don't be that person who gives up on being a creator because it looks too hard. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it is. There's no easy path. And those of you who say, oh, it's, it's so easy. They're not showing you the background. So I'll give you the, the little like schedule that happens for me every single day. This is literally every day of my life. And if it's not this, something has shifted to allow me different time. Usually, I'm up 
I go to work from eight to five. I get home and I spend time with my son from like 5.30 until I get home, 5.30 until when he gets in bed, finally asleep. Lately, he doesn't go to bed till 10 o'clock. Finally get in bed at 10 o'clock. He needs to be in bed at eight o'clock, but he doesn't go to sleep. So it's 10 o'clock when I finally make it into this room. And I'm in here until 1, 2 a.m., either making content, connecting with my community, or doing something that betters me in content. I'm doing that almost every single night. Go to sleep, wake up, repeat. That's my content right now. It's not some passive gig. It's not some crazy thing. Videos like this, all this setup that I had to do for this wasn't such a passive thing that none of this occurred. So what I'll say to you is when it comes to it, just be ready to work hard. Nothing's going to come easy at it. And if you're looking for the easy road, content might not be what you jump into. Maybe you just stream for a hobby. I guarantee you, if you watch this video and you get to the end of it, you get to right here. I hope you're not that person that goes, you know what? I'll just stream on Twitch. I'll just, I'll just grow on Twitch. My name's Chad and I'm just going to grow on Twitch. I'm going to stream every day and I'm going to be so great. I'm going to stream eight hours a day and I'm just going to grow and blow up. No, you won't. I'm telling you, you won't. So don't be that person. Start figuring out a plan. Stream half the amount of time you do now. Do you stream eight hours? Stream four. You stream four days? Stream two. You stream all week? Stream three. Use the rest of that time and create content. Edit your streams down. Reuse your time. Figure out how you're going to be impactful and give value back to your community. And I hope that in this video I've given value. If I have, can you hit the thumbs up and let other people get it? All that YouTube stuff that makes things happen, the engagement, comment below. Um, but be someone who's giving value to someone else and you will grow. Post on TikTok, post on shorts, post on Instagram, post wherever. Your content will work with you and work for you when you're asleep and when you're not making content while you stream. Stream Being a streamer, I will say this, being a streamer is not being a content creator. If you tell people, hi, I'm a content creator, all you do is stream on Twitch, you're not a content creator. Do you make content from it? Then you're a content creator. Don't just be a streamer and then say, I'm going to be that person who's going to blow up. So I'm sure I've upset someone. I'm sure I have. And if that makes you have some kind of like second guesses, man, this guy's crazy. I don't want to follow him. That's fine. Let it be what it is. I'm on the journey here to make you better. And I'm going to do it the best way I know how, and that's to share my experiences. And my experience here, talking about Watcher, is I've worked with this guy for so long, and I know him, and for him to ask those questions, he's serious. So are you asking those questions? Who are you? What are you? And why are you looking to do this? Can you answer those three questions? If you can, drop down in the comments. Make some accountability. Put them in the comments. So that you know you can come back to this video, pin it, save it, something, screenshot it. Put it in the comments. Who am I? What am I? Why am I? Answer the question. And if you're not willing to try to figure out the answer to that question, just go play Warzone and scream at 12-year-olds, and you don't have to make content from it. It's okay. Just because all your friends are content creators does not mean you have to be a content creator. It's okay. It really, it's okay. You can just be a part of their growth. That's fine. Be that. That'll end the video. What about the SM7B? The, the K688's over there. What do you think about the SM7B? Good mic? Bad mic? Stupid mic? I don't know. Let me know. Thanks, guys. That's the end of this one. Bye-bye.